shape 30 degree inclined and by keeping the same name but inclined 30 degree this is the final position and let us draw the projection and by joining the projection from the top view below the xy line a1 b1 and c1 our all conditions are satisfied in this third step so the longest side remains in the vp that means the line itself line a1 b1 the longest side of 3060 set square will remain in the vp so it remains on the xy line so hence this problem is complete and it satisfied all the conditions so we learn that how to extract the information from the given problem and how to draw some specified conditions so let us move to the next problem problem number 12 a rectangular pentagon of say 30 mm side is resting on hp on one of its side with its surface 45 degree inclined to the horizontal plane so here is a pentagon plane is given draw its projection when the side in the hp makes 30 degree angle with the vertical plane so the condition is given the first one is it's the dimension is given the first one says 45 degree inclined to horizontal plane and one side is resting on the hp it doesn't specify that which line is resting so we can take any line any side and second condition is given 30 degree inclined to the vp so vertical degree a vertical plane and horizontal plane the inclination is given so surface and side inclination are directly given so let us take the information from the problems first surface is inclined to which plane so that is given as horizontal plane next is assumption for the initial position that is parallel to the horizontal plane so the reference is given to the horizontal plane that means the true shape will be visible in top view so the true shape will be visible in our top view that means that we have to start the problem by drawing the top view in the below the xy line so which side will be vertical it's given any side there is no specifically said that's why we can choose any side and hence by begin with the top view we can draw the pentagon below the xy line so let us draw first x and y line and produce the pentagon by keeping one line vertical to the xy line so the condition is one surface is perpendicular let us give the name a b c d e because it is top view so we don't use dash by drawing the projection from respective points we can draw the front view and by giving the names as a dash to d dash now second point is reference inclination 45 degree is given to the xy line it means horizontal plane so next we have to produce the front view 45 degree inclined to the xy line and by giving the same name we are producing the same dimension but 45 degree and by drawing the projection extending to the top view and by joining the horizontal projection from the top view of first step we can obtain the reduced size of pentagon and let us give the name of each and every corner by a1 to e1 
So here our true shape is reduced as we can see the front view is inclined to the xy line 45 degree. So here our plane becomes reduced shape in top view. So two steps are complete. Now we are going to draw the same shape 30 degree because it says it is the 30 degree to the vertical plane. So next step will be by drawing the any line x 30 degree inclined to the x y line and by generating the same shape and let us give the same name a1 b1 c1 d1 and e1 by doing the projection from each and every points and by joining the projection horizontal from the previous step we get the intersection and we can join this each and every intersection point to get the final position of the pentagon which is the 30 degree to the vertical plane and 45 degree to the horizontal plane. So this position will be the final position of the pentagon. So it is let us finish the problem by showing the all the notations a1 dash to e1 dash. So we have one more problem of regular pentagon of 30 degree mm size resting on HP on one of its side while it is opposite the vertex. So here in this problem one condition is given that the side opposite to the vertex which is 30 mm above the HP and that side is resting on HP. So here is the same problem but with the specified condition. So draw the projection when the side in HP is 30 degree inclined to the VP. So what the information we got the surface inclined to which plane means HP. So assumption for the initial is parallel to the HP. So let us begin with the true shape which is top view and which will be the any uh, vertical side any side but opposite to the vertical. So let us see quickly the same problem with the specified condition. So here the distance is given so the difference will be the second step that the inclination is given in distance wise. So by joining the projection we got the reduced pentagon as we have in the same last problem and finally we are producing the same shape 30 degree inclined and by joining the projection from the top view and front view we are obtaining the intersecting points. So let us join the shape and this will be our end of our pentagon problem with the different condition. So let us move one more problem a rhombus of a diagonal 40 mm and 70 mm long that means the largest diagonal is uh, 70 mm and smaller diagonal size is 40 mm respectively has one end of its larger or longer diagonal in HP while the di diagonal is 45 degree inclined to horizontal plane. If the top view of the same diagonal makes 30 degree inclination with VP draw its projection. So in our problem a rhombus of a 40-70 is given and it is given with the reference of horizontal plane means the true shape will be visible in top view. So we are drawing top view below the xy line. So let us start with that by drawing rhombus of 70 by 40 mm diagonal 
and joining the projection of the same to get the front view. Let us give the names AD, A dash, B dash, T dash and C dash to the respective points. Let us draw the second step by drawing the line 45 degree inclined to the XY line. So, we are drawing the same dimension inclined 45 degree to and we are getting the reduce the size of rhombus by joining the line. So, in the second step, we got the view 45 degree to the horizontal plane. So, our second step is finished and the final step which is says 30 degree to the vertical plane. So, in the next move, the line is 30 degree to the XY line which is top view. So, by producing the same rhombus 30 degree inclined. So, here we have to note that the diagonal itself is 30 degree. We can observe in the problem here the same diagonal makes 30 degree inclination with the vertical plane. And by given the same name A1, B1, C1, D1, we need to draw the vertical projection and projection from the front view by joining the same we get the rhombus in the final position which is inclined to the both of plane and as it is given in the position which is 30 degree to the vertical plane and 45 degree to the horizontal plane. Let us see and what is given in the problem and how to extract the data from the problem and answer the following question. What was the surface inclined first? It is given into the horizontal plane. So, assumption for the initial position will be parallel to horizontal plane. So, in which view will show the true shape? That means, it will show the true shape in the top view and the last what special condition is given? Here it was given that which diagonal will be horizontal. That means, the longer diagonal is given as horizontal. Hence, begin with the top view we have drawn the rhombus and by drawing the rhombus below the x y line we are obtaining the subsequent the shapes and let us take one more problem of rhombus. Here it is the same kind of problem. So, let us move quickly we will see the difference. Rhombus of diagonal 40 mm and 70 mm long respectively having one end of its longer diagonal in horizontal plane while that diagonal is 45 degree to HP makes 30 degree inclination with the horizontal plane. So, the different will be the first two stages will be same the difference will be visible only in third step. So, here it is given as 30 degree and 45 degree inclined to the horizontal plane. Let us see the difference it will be visible as true length. So, here the line itself is given 30 degree. So, true length will be 30 degree and so the difference will be in the third step and the top view problem top view of the rhombus will be different as we can see the final shape in blue and yellow. So, by giving the notation we are completing the problem this was the difference between this problem and the previous problem. So, we have seen almost all the projection and we will move further in the orthographic projection. We will see what is the orthographic methods, what are the projection, 
what is the orthographic view so let us see orthographic projection the history of orthographic projection uh, is by a french mathematician uh, engineer jasper monge uh, has invented the projection theory in uh, 19th century so he developed a system by using a projection with two planes so it's a geographical graphical de description by of any solid objects using two planes right at right angles which we called the horizontal plane and vertical plane so this is the history behind the projection and the inventor in orthographic projection any solid is described in two with the reference of two planes vertical planes and horizontal plane so we are giving a description uh, this system which was and still it is called a descriptive geometry to describe any objects accurately and ambiguously so it is relied on parallel perpendicular projection of any geometry from any perpendicular planes so basically his description of ge geometry forms the basis of what now we call orthographic projection so the word orthographic means to draw right angles and is derived from the greek word orthos we will see later the meaning of ortho and graphics means graphos means to write so ortho means straight and graphos means to draw so here hence the word orthographic is come into the existent so the theory behind orthographic projection is the geographical method used in mon modern engineering drawing and in order to interpret and communicate with the engineering drawing a uh, designer must have a sound understanding of its use and clear vision how the various projections to be created so in orthographic they are based on